A literary giant, but Martin Amos's influence extended far wider than the era-defining novels he wrote. The son of Booker Prize-winning novelist Kingsley Amos, he once described the Amos franchise as something of a burden, but his talent for writing was evident early on. The process is, um, is uh, saying the sentence, sub-vocalising it in your head until there's nothing wrong with it. He published his first novel in 1973 while he was working as an editorial assistant for the Times Literary Supplement, moving on to work for the New Statesman whilst continuing his writing. But it was his 1984 novel Money, a zeitgeist book based on Amos's own time as a scriptwriter, that brought him the global recognition he deserved. Martin Amos, I think, defined a generation, uh, a, a very particular male voice of the, the 1980s and 90s. He went on to publish a string of notable works, his contemporaries including Salman Rushdie, Ian McEwan and Julian Barnes. But the author also became known as an outspoken intellectual. I, in common with many writers, I think, feel that, feel that there is a... And this may be, again, just something that every writer feels in every generation, that there's a great convulsion of stupidity happening in the world. In a statement, Penguin Books said he leaves a towering legacy and an indelible mark on the British cultural landscape and will be missed enormously. One of the most acclaimed modern novelists, Martin Amos, an erudite and fearless writer, his the most distinctive of voices. Katie Spencer, Sky News.